Similarly, long hair that is left loose also presents an entanglement hazard. There have been many cases of employees, male and female, who have literally been scalped by allowing their hair to become entangled into a rotating shaft on a machine and not realizing until it is too late. So for safety's sake, tie up long hair and preferably contain it completely within a specially designed snood or hairnet. It would be impossible to have a machine shop without having certain types of cutting tools present to be used to form and cut materials into the required end products. Cutting tools, by definition, are sharp and present an inherent hazard in any machining area. They remain a risk when in and out of use, so it is wise to treat them with respect at all times. Not only from a personal safety viewpoint, but also to minimise damage to cutting edges and the reduction of cutting tool efficiency. Make sure that when any cutting tool is in use, that a proper guard is placed such that it prevents any person from becoming injured either by coming into contact with the tool cutting edge and risking serious cuts, or being drawn into the cutting action of the tool, which would probably result in even more serious injuries. Similarly, consideration should be given to protection from flying debris, which may be hot and therefore presents a risk of becoming embedded or burning on contact with the skin or eyes. Another form of cutting tool is the grinding wheel which can inflict particularly nasty injuries to the human body because the flesh is actually ground away, making healing that much more difficult. The rules, therefore, are the same as for other cutting tools. Wear the proper protective devices and ensure that you enclose the grinding wheel when it is in use. And be particularly careful when it's not in use as a wheel revolving at high speed very often looks as if it is stationary. Take the necessary precaution of either switching off the machine when it is not in use, or guarding and placing a notice on the machine to inform others and remind yourself. Some grinding machines are impossible to guard completely because of the practicalities of carrying out the work on them. These are usually pedestal or off-hand grinders. You should not attempt to use these machines unless you have received proper specific training on how to use them. There are many techniques that must be demonstrated to you in order for you to appreciate the particular risks associated with this type of machine. Before we leave the dangers of cutting tools, a word about removing work or inspecting it during the machining operation. It very often happens that the machine spindle or moving slide needs time to slow to a stop when you switch off the process. This is a particularly risky time, as the tendency is for many people to use the stopping time to remove the guard and approach the workpiece, ready to carry out the next operation before or as the machine comes to a halt. This is an extremely dangerous thing to do and very bad practice as it leads to complacency and inevitably, on many occasions, accidents. You should at all times wait for the machine to come to a complete standstill before attempting to remove the guard. And always ensure that the cutting edge is sufficiently far away from your hands to minimize the risk of injury when handling the workpiece. When machining takes place, particularly on metals, there are invariably sharp edges and corners remaining after the machining operation very often accompanied by sharp slivers of metal which are thrown up.